Right, and you know, the rain is really a good thing. We were pretty dry in February and really on these last couple of years running dry as well. So a lot of welcome rain on the way here to parts of central Iowa. Let's start out with a look at the time lapse here at the mile long bridge this afternoon. You can see as the cars have been driving along, we've been watching clouds spread in throughout the day and those clouds are going to get thicker leading into our thunderstorm chances overnight. This is a look from Algona looking back to the southwest where we've already had one thunderstorm develop. That cell will be moving into town or just west of that location in the next few minutes. Temperature there 70 degrees at 71 in Des Moines, 68 in Sheraton and you can see right now the air is still fairly dry as indicated by these fairly low dew point numbers, but those will be creeping up in the next few hours as we bring back moisture. Best chance for showers and storms here locally will arrive after midnight and then persist into the morning hours of Thursday. Clean sweep on live Doppler 8 right now with the exception of Kasuf County. We've got that thunderstorm there just to the northeast of West End lifting north toward Highway 18 and will likely clip parts of Algona. That cell not expected to turn severe. What we will be watching though are the thunderstorms that are anticipated to develop over northeast Kansas and northwest Missouri in the vicinity of, vicinity of that warm front. As those storms lift northeast, that will be the widespread rain we get later on tonight. The greatest threat for severe weather in that orange shaded area, the enhanced risk over northeast Kansas and Missouri. Parts of central and southern Iowa are in a marginal to slight risk. We do anticipate thunderstorm intensities to drop, but we could see some cells late Later on this evening and overnight over our far southern counties produce some P maybe to quarter sized hail. So we'll watch the clouds increase. This is by 8 p.m. You can see that thunderstorm complex breaking out in the parts of Nebraska and Missouri. And then as we get closer to midnight here, widespread rain and thunderstorms over southern Iowa. The activity now creeping up closer to I-80 and it's going to be between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. We watch our southern counties for possibly a little bit of small hail in some of those storms. Outside of that, though, just a general General soaking of rain lasting into tomorrow morning and then tomorrow parts of southern Iowa will likely get dry slotted with some of that activity, but a persistent band of rain may set up over our northern zones, helping to add up on rainfall north of I-80. It'll be a breezy day in addition to the rain tomorrow. Winds out of the northeast increasing to around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and this is a look at the rainfall forecast with the system. Again, we're going to be watching two areas, one to the north of the Des Moines metro area where we get see a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Unfortunately for our far northern zones, likely going to miss out on some of the heavier rain here locally in the metro right around a quarter to one half an inch. And then where we're anticipating some more of those heavier thunderstorms anywhere between a half an inch to locally near two inches over parts of southern Iowa. Once we get rid of the storms Friday looking mostly sunny, a high of 58 61 Saturday, but then our temperatures drop quickly ahead of a cold front on Sunday. That'll bring us back into the 40s with lows in the 20s.